hey guys what's up Hasib here and uh, welcome to another video so in this video I'm gonna talk about three workflows that I created and uh, these three workflows are part of my digital marketing agency snapshot it's actually called digital agency starter snapshot so this is for those who are getting started and I'm uh, I'm willing to give this for free to those who sign up using my link uh, to high level so the three workflows uh, I'm going to talk about first of all, I'm going to talk about this web design services follow up. So I'm, I'm like categorizing the services uh, a digital marketing agency provides into three parts. The first one will be a web design, which is the most common. The second one will be SEO. And the third one will be lead generation services that includes Google, Facebook may include more, but just for now we are doing Google and Facebook. So these three workflows cater those services to leads and prospects, you know, and uh, as you can see in this one, this doesn't have any workflow trigger. So this doesn't get triggered uh, automatically. Instead, what we do is in other workflows, according to like people's choice, they get added to this workflow by other workflows. So that's also a kind of automation we are doing right now. So as you can see, there's uh, like, seven email and sms campaign like automatically added to be sent out in this workflow so this is email one email uh email one sms one email two three and sms two three four five six and up to seven so these are uh, the the primary call to action for people is to reply or just book a consultation using the trigger link the reason why i'm using trigger links is because I want to be able to track people who clicked on the link but they never booked a call so we could follow up if we wanted to later and let's see what uh, other stuff these have so this is actually the thank you email the first one similar things going on in uh, SMS one just asking people to reply with uh, an appropriate date and time or just book a consultation with the web design team directly so to be noted i'm using three separate calendar links for these three workflows so it's it's more customized so i want to be able to say uh if you want to book a consultation with my web design team or with our web design services team here's the link so this is what exactly what we want to do and let's see so this is uh this actually uh has a link which is actually a custom value uh that holds the link to the projects page of the marketing agency similar thing in sms so basically email one sms one is one set email two sms two is one set so we don't want to confuse people so instead what we want to do is we want to send out the email to let's say for example and then in two minutes we are going to sending uh, we are going to be sending them sms two so it's it doesn't look like automated hitting at the same time we don't want that Instead, we want to take a two minute break. You could also take a one minute break, but that's up to you entirely. And we want to be able to send the same message. We don't want to confuse people, right? So the thing we are selling or the thing we are asking people to do to take an action in email to the same thing needs to happen in SMS to and and similarly for the other stuff and also email three email four. It's got projects, testimonials like case studies and stuff. Similar thing for SEO, basically the same thing, but just uh, the emails and SMS are customized. Like, do you want to know how we do stuff? Do we want to know? Uh, do you want to know how we do reporting? Do you want to know how, uh, like, we categorize the S SEO campaigns for our clients? And those kind of stuff are going on this workflow. Google uh, and Facebook ad services follow up. This is more interesting. Uh, from my point of view because each of these emails have something because I've, I've seen from my personal experience convincing people to run Google or Facebook ads is can be a bit tricky or just difficult at the beginning but once they start getting results they don't complain that much but at, at the beginning it could be a bit tricky so what we are doing is we are sending them a bunch of resources like if you look at email 3 real life examples of our Google and Facebook ad successes. So this will actually uh, hold a link, which is a custom value again. So I don't want to, to, you know, hard code anything into the email or SMS. 
instead I'm, I'm just keeping things dynamic so you can like anyone can just go ahead and edit these so ads case study people can now you know add their case study like if you have a marketing agency or if you have worked as a freelancer you you must have a case study or you must have results so you could just put that link into the custom value so you could send it out to people through this uh, automation similarly uh, for email four you can see um, how we target the right audience for your ads this could be a blog explaining like how you target uh, like how the ads demographic are being targeted in Facebook ads how you t uh, target the right audience using uh, keywords and using different kinds of match types so the trick is not to keep anything hidden from the people instead like the people you're talking to to sell your ad services or lead generation services you tell them everything you tell them how you do it so this is the you know the magic that happens when they know how you do it they don't actually take it from you and they don't actually start doing it themselves this doesn't happen we've we've seen it and we know this is not how it works so you just tell them everything this is the right way for you to tell them like this this could be the you know the workflow that you could create i'm not saying that you you need to do three i'm just keeping things more customized and more you know personal using this this way so yeah this is what actually i wanted to show you i, I learned this from somewhere obviously but I'm, I'm trying to apply this for myself and i know that it works and i know this will work for anyone who wants it to be like personalized and categorized into these three four five depending on how many services uh you are selling so that's all and make sure you subscribe if you think these uh this information you're getting from my channel are helping your business and your personal growth as well and i'll see you in the next one cheers